Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. This video is gonna be a quick one because I wanna show you how you'll be able to monitor your 3D prints remotely and it doesn't even cost you a lot of money. Now, specifically I'm doing this for FDM printing on the Creality Ender 3, but it doesn't have to be for the Ender 3. It can be for whatever 3D printer that you have as long as you can get a good view on it. But if you do have an Ender 3, let me show you this little attachment that I printed out. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this attachment so that you can print it, but it's basically a holder for a wise security camera. And it has these openings for screw holes. And these screws are also located on the front of the Ender 3 Pro, so you don't even have to go out and buy any screws. You just take those screws out, put them through the 3D printed holder and back into the printer, and then it holds the camera in place. Now, wise cameras tend to cost around around $34 or so for their regular indoor camera that can also double as an outdoor camera these days, but you can get the Roku cameras from Walmart, the Roku indoor smart camera for only $24.99, and those will fit this holder as well because Roku cameras are just rebranded wise cameras. And once you have that all set up, you'll be able to go into the Roku Smart Home app on your phone or even on your TV if you have a Roku TV, and you'll be able to keep an eye on your prints as they're happening in real time. So if you happen to have a failure at some point, you'll be able to catch it early and you don't have to keep running over to your printer and looking at it to make sure that everything is going well. Now, in addition to monitoring, this Roku Smart Home app will also give you the ability to make time lapses, kind of like this. So if you wanna make a time lapse of whatever you're printing, then you can totally do that, and they give you these little increments that you can choose from as well. You can either choose to do a time lapse in which basically a picture is taken every certain amount of seconds, or you can even up that to minutes, and then everything will be saved into the album inside of the smart home app and you can download that to your phone and do whatever it is you want to do with it and if you happen to have a micro sd card lying around you can plug that into the camera and set it up so that it continuously records so in case you need to go back and take a look at something that happened in the past you'll be able to pop that sd card into your computer and go to that precise moment it records one minute per file so you'll go through the files and see which ones you need this whole process is incredibly easy to set up and you do not need a subscription to use the basic features of this camera. But if you do want to use some of the subscription based features that it does offer and you're curious about those, I do have another separate video that I made on my other channel dealing with this camera and how to set it up and what you can do and what you can't do and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in going a little bit more in depth, I'll leave a link in the description and as a pinned comment so you can check out that video and learn more about this camera but I wanted to tell you about this for the purpose of monitoring your 3d prints because this is one of the more readily available and cheap ways that you can do it and even if you don't print out the little attachment to go on your printer maybe you have a different type of printer you can always just stack it on some books or come up with some other kind of creative way to point it at your printer so that you'll be able to keep an eye on everything that you're printing wherever you happen to be so that's pretty much it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you later.